So, dudes, I hope you're having a beautiful, feel-good Friday. And I've been thinking about this skateboarding DLC lately, and yeah, it's been amazing so far. But there is a huge issue that I'm worried about with it being behind a paywall, man. And it might not be what you think. But if you go on to enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. But let's jump into this video right now. Now, first and foremost, I want to make it clear that I don't have any issue with them charging real money for the skateboarding career. You know, it's an add-on after all, and yeah, we already paid for the game, but we paid for the base game and for everything that was in the game at that time. You know, so the career and everything that comes with it, um, you know, it's an add-on at the end of the day, and I can tell that they put a lot of hard work and love into it, man. So, I love this game, and I don't mind financially supporting it if it means that we're gonna get, you know, more future support for this game. And uh, yeah, man, is it a little bit too pricey? I would say yes, 25 USD is pretty damn pricey i would personally be okay with it being like 10 to 15 dollars but um no more than that <laughs> but it is what it is man but i do have a huge concern about how they entirely locked skateboarding behind a paywall completely like you can't even get it in free roam or anything at all so i have fears on how it's going to affect the season and how it really limits the potential of the season so yeah but i just wanted to make that clear first and foremost i don't mind them charging money for the career but let's get into the real reason and the real issue that I'm worried about. So as we all remember last year when the BMX career dropped, um, everybody had access to two free BMX bikes of street bike and a dirt bike, a dirt BMX. And it was available to everybody even if you didn't pay for the BMX career, but you could only ride it in free roam. You didn't have access to the career events and then like the sponsors and some other items that were locked behind the paywall of the BMX career. But you still had access to it in the little gear wheel right here. You could still ride it around in free roam. And what this did was give the developers a huge opportunity to be creative and bring in some awesome funkies that were related to the BMX that were accessible for everybody. So what that really made the BMX career super dope because we had one really cool one that was like a weekly challenge reward. Um, and that one was super sick. Two of them were relics that you could just find around the map. And then one was locked behind the career event. You know, you had to complete one of the career events. And then one was in the seasonal progression reward system thing. So people having access to at least one free BMX gave them the opportunity to, you know, give us funkies and different kind of bikes in the season progression rewards and as a weekly challenges. So BMX season was really dope because even for the weekly challenges, they had um, multiple BMX bikes as a rewards, a funky. And when it comes down to skateboarding, I'm super worried because we only have two funkies so far. And the only way to get these is by completing the secondary objective in two of the events. And that is where the problem is with not giving the players at least one of each board for free without buying the career. You know, there's no skateboarding in the season progressional reward. And I'm super worried that we're not going to get any boards at all for the weekly challenges throughout this whole season. You know, so the only two funkies that we have, is that all that we're going to get throughout the whole season? So them locking the skateboarding career completely behind the, the paywall it severely hinders the potential for them to create super cool funkies that we all wanted. You know, like we wanted mountain boards. I wanted a long board so you could bomb some downhill with those long roads. You know what I mean? Like a penny board or something or any kind of crazy rocket board. It just, it severely limits the potential of what you could bring into the game because the seasonal progression rewards and the weekly challenges rewards, they have to be free and accessible to every single player, no matter how new they are. You know, if they barely got the game the day of, so them locking it completely behind the paywall just i don't know how they would introduce new funkies or how they would make them unlockable to people who have the skateboarding career you know what i mean like are they going to put it as a weekly challenge reward but then have that little asterisk right there like oh must have the skateboarding career you know what i mean because how else are they going to introduce new funkies for us to unlock other than the skateboarding career events which we already completed and there's only two damn funkies and they're great you know i think the funkies are super cool but um, I just I think that them not allowing people to have at least one of each free skateboard, it severely impacted the potential that they could have for, you know, bringing super cool funkies or just super cool boards. You know, like we're probably only going to get one clothing item as a weekly reward week in and week out, which is fine. I like the clothing rewards, but man, we're not going to get any dope board designs or anything as a skateboarding reward. You know what I mean? Like for the weekly challenges, which it just they really, really put a limit on the potential for the skateboarding career and the, the season overall, man, unfortunately. So, yeah, I don't know how they would introduce some new funkies or how they would implement them into the game without 
you know other people who don't have the skating career missing out on those items or the funkies or anything you know so you're gonna have to buy the skateboarding career if you want to get these other funkies but what i'm worried about is they're just not going to bring any other funkies into the game so that's a real bummer i'm you know i'm pretty pessimistic about the weekly rewards that are going to be coming up here because we know they're not going to be skateboards we know there's not going to be any cool funkies or anything that comes out so i'm just very pessimistic man i just got to be honest with you um yeah i just wish they they got a little more creative and i think them locking the entirety of skateboarding like you can't even play skateboarding in free room if you don't pay for the career i think that severely limited the potential again i'm gonna say it again i know i said it so many times in this video but that really messed up the potential for what they could have done in this whole season and made it the most fun you know what i mean and it's just I, I think that really messed them up because like with bmx as i mentioned earlier in the video we had a lot of cool funkies a lot of opportunities for everybody because at least they had one free bmx you know but i digress because it is locked behind a paywall unfortunately but we'll see how that affects the season man um let me know what you think about this whole thing let me know if you have the same thought process if you were worried about the same thing because i was like you know what i don't mind paying for it but this is really my biggest issue with the whole them locking the skateboarding career behind the paywall i don't mind that they did it but that is my biggest issue let me know if you agree with me or what are your views on this whole skateboarding career and this whole season you know the dlc and everything let me know what you think down in the comments um if you want to see more content like this man be sure to subscribe and i'll smell you guys in the next one Peace.